If you really understand law of attraction, then you'll understand that everything is manifestation. What does that mean? It means the things that you want to attract in your life and the things that you don't want to attract is still attracting because you are the vibrational frequency. And the biggest problem that we have as human beings is that our brains are processing 11 million pieces of information every single second. So how can we even gather what's happening in the conscious or the subconscious? And how can we be more mindful to not attract all the things and all the clutter and all the chaos that we don't want, instead be totally aligned and focused with what we do want. So in this video, I wanna share with you a very powerful mindfulness hack to be able to get rid of all the chaos and to have absolute clarity with what you want in life and to be able to attract it into your life. But before we get into it, show real. Hit it. What's up guys, namaste, this is Sri Akashna here and in this video I want to break down for you a very powerful mindfulness hack to be able to get rid of all the clutter that you are manifesting into your life. So we need to first free our mind, free our brain from all the clutter, all the chaos, all the thoughts, all the distractions. And how do we do it? And this is something that I learned from my first master around six, seven years ago on this spiritual journey. And I'd like to first break down for you a quote that I put down on Instagram uh, a, few, a few weeks ago with regards to mindfulness. And if you, by the way, are not following the Instagram channel, make sure to find it. And um, you can follow the work there because every single day we're posting different work from, from what we're posting on, on YouTube to hold you accountable to make it your best year. Okay, so um, the mindfulness hack, I said, our mind is only full from the overwhelm of thoughts we have, right? So it's all about overwhelm, so many thoughts, that's why it's full, okay? Thoughts are triggered by our five senses. By removing distractions to these senses will immediately calm your mind, okay? If I put it like this, if we just do a very quick exercise right now, and if you close your eyes with me now, okay? And I say, don't think about anything, right? Most likely, and keep, keep, keep this going, don't think about anything, right? Most likely you'll be thinking right now, well, why is he speaking? He's speaking, still making me think, right? So what's happening? You're hearing my voice, hearing is a sense, and therefore it's kicking off a dialogue and creating thoughts in your head, okay? Now let's continue. Don't think about anything, right? If you have some light in a room, it's highly likely that you've, you said, oh, the light's on. Oh, why am I facing this way? Maybe it's better in a darker room. So it's kicking off thoughts. How is it kicking off thoughts? Because you sense this is sight, this is feeling, right? Right now, if you sense, you probably be able to sense if it's cold or if it's hot. If you sense if it's cold or if it's hot, you think, oh, maybe I should have wore a jacket, right? It will start something. So now open your eyes and come back. Understand that majority of your thoughts are consumed with what you sense, what you see, what you taste, what you feel, all of these different things. So that's why when we do meditation, why do we close our eyes? Because when we close our eyes, we are not distracted by all the things. If our eyes are open, we say, oh, unconsciously we're thinking, hey, there's that sign there, I need to get rid of that, it's too messy in that corner, right? Unconsciously. Consciously we're thinking, hey, camera is not straight or something like that. So conscious and unconscious is going at the same time. When you close your eyes, you cut off a lot of senses, therefore, right? What you do is you also cut off all the thoughts that are generated from that sense. If I cut off, let's say for example, people who wear perfumes, think about it. How many times have you walked somewhere before you smell a smell and then thoughts start kicking in? Oh, that smell was good, that smell was bad, that smell reminds me of something, right? Right, that's a sense. So again, if you can limit 
what the all the smells are happening in the room then again it can enhance your deep meditation your mindfulness same thing with hearing if there's too many sounds going on again it's distractions it creates thoughts and it creates clutter so if we can minimize all of this also taste that's why a lot of the time people are saying why in your practice you don't you don't eat onion don't eat garlic why these are very strong tastes and they kick off signals and generate thoughts that we don't even know that's happening right so they are they all of these things they distort the mind because they're overpowering so when we start to become aware that all we need to do is be very aware of what we are sensing how do we create the perfect environment so that we cut down a lot of the things that we are sensing and this is very important especially when you're doing your manifestation practices so some people they like to wake up and start scrolling social media that's eyes that's eyes you're bringing in all these thoughts conscious and unconscious thoughts into your mind and you're manifesting some people they like to listen to a lot of the pop songs out there the trending songs out there which most of them sing about heartbreak and so they listening to these affirmations but they don't see it as affirmations but they are and at the same time it's logging into the brain and it's creating thought therefore manifesting these problems some people even sing to it <laughs> so then they're creating this affirmation for themselves so understand that all these senses if you become more aware of the senses how can you create the environment where there is less contamination here there is less contamination here, less contamination here, less contamination here, feeling less contamination. Then you will find naturally the mind will silence. And one thing is very powerful. That's why when we practice yoga for manifestation, and by the way, those of you who haven't downloaded the app yet, make sure to download the app because there's free yoga practice and meditation practice and the whole positivity community is there as well. We always say your tribe is your vibe. So make sure to download it. You can find it on Apple App Store or Google Play Store. It's called Creator's Circle. Okay, and Make sure to add me as a friend there Okay, and drop me a message to let me know where you guys have uh, joined from. It'll be very nice to connect with you all on the app. Um, and on that note, we're going to finish there. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything from it whatsoever, please do hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Also, comment below. Let us know where you guys have tuned in from. That's always nice to know. And finally, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already, remember, remember to hit that subscribe button and the notifications button next to it. That's a little bell sign, by the way, because this year I'm dedicated to making daily videos to hold you accountable to make it your best year yet. But for now, guys, namaste. Ciao.